The word has Latin origin. Re, meaning back, tardis, meaning slow. Its use in medicine made sense, but medicine couldn't control how hate would twist that word into a damaging slur. Chloe is retarded at directions. We're gonna end up watching this whole retarded Russell Crowe show. Speaking of retarded. Retarded. <laughs> retarded. He does retarded. Last weekend, the Star Tribune introduced us to Jordan Buckaloo, who was doing something cool, saying stop with the R word. It wasn't to me just like a word, it was like specifically hurting people that I knew and loved. And I think that was where it really took off for me, where as before I didn't use it, but I also wasn't willing to like call other people out on it. Jordan, who goes by Joe, didn't just wake up one day and decide to make this her mission. She's been working in the disability community for years, job coaching, mentoring, and working at a women's group home. It was there, Joe said, a woman asked her a question. Have you ever heard this word before? She had been looking at her high school yearbook um, that day. She was big on memories and looking at photos. And she started recalling stories. And she was in her 40s at this point. But stories from when she was a teenager of people using that word um, against her and to mock her and then also to mock other kids. From that day forward, Joe's ears couldn't unhear the word if it were said. And she spoke openly about it. It's why the article was written in the Star Tribune. An article, Joe says, had an odd consequence. In the comments on the newspaper article of me, I was called a Nazi multiple times what? because I was trying to control people's language. And I was like, I don't, that's so far from the point. I'm not trying to control people's language. I'm trying to educate them on a population of people that they might not have experience with. Experience again, Joe has had and still has with her latest hire. I work for um, Joe, and she is a terrific person. Do you like working with Joe? I really do. Kirsta is Joe's intern in a partnership with Bethel called Build. It's a program getting life and job skills to students with disabilities. Kirsta told me she's gonna be a casting agent in the movies someday. What movie would I be in? I'll say, High School Musical. But she also knows what it feels like to hurt. That R word is a heck of a lot more harmful to her than sticks and stones. What does it feel like when people are mean to you? That really hurts. And sometimes it does cut like a knife in your heart. And sometimes I do like feel hurt if someone that I know who said a mean word to me and I don't like it.